besides being two of the greatest basketball players of all time. Kobe Bryant and Magic Johnson are powerful men who have made the most of their great fortunes. But have you ever wondered which of them had the most luxurious life? In this video, you'll see a fierce battle between Kobe Bryant and Magic Johnson. So let's get to the fight! Before we get started, I challenge you. You have to click on subscribe and activate notifications check the option all. But you have to do that in less than 5 seconds, you got it? And if you can, write in the comments hashtag about subscribe. Alright, let's get started! Most Expensive Mansion Both stars have owned large residences, but which one had the most luxurious home? Magic Johnson, for example, doesn't like to skimp. The main mansion that the former player owns is 12,000 square feet and is in Beverly Park, having been bought in the 1990s for $2.3 million, but it is estimated that today it is worth more than $17 million. Kobe Bryant, for example, lived in a large 15,000 square foot mansion in Orange County, California, and even though there is not much information about the property, it is known that its value was estimated at $21.3 million. And for having owned a more expensive home, Kobe Bryant wins this round. Point for him. Cars. Both stars have been seen in fancy vehicles, but which of them has owned the most luxurious garage? Kobe Bryant, for example, has been spotted in a Jeep Wrangler, a big 4x4 car valued at more than $50,000. Kobe has also been seen getting out of a Cadillac Escalade, a huge, very safe, and comfortable car, which depending on the model can exceed $95,000. Even more expensive, he has had his picture taken next to a Mercedes-Benz S-Class, a very exquisite luxury sedan, which can be found costing around $110,000. One famous vehicle owned by Kobe Bryant was his 1963 Chevy Impala, a collectible car that was auctioned after his death for about $220,000. He also once owned a Bentley Continental GT, an upscale car from the well-known luxury car brand Bentley. The interior of the car has a top-notch finish, and of course, is equipped with a very powerful engine. And it is no wonder that this car can cost more than $230,000. Kobe Bryant has also owned a Ferrari California, a beautiful convertible car, capable of attracting a lot of attention wherever it goes. The vehicle is equipped with a V8 engine, capable of reaching impressive speeds. And it is no wonder that to own one of these, it may be necessary to invest about $250,000. Another Ferrari that he has also been spotted with is the 458 Spider, a stunning car that is the dream of many people and can be found for around $260,000. Kobe has also owned another Ferrari model 488 GTB, another super sports car made for those who like speed. And to give you an idea of the price, you can find this Ferrari costing around $300,000. Even more expensive, the basketball legend once owned a Lamborghini Murcielago, another beautiful sports car equipped with a V12 engine capable of reaching impressive speeds, which is estimated to cost around $350,000. Magic Johnson, for his part, has owned cars such as $17,000 Jeep Wrangler, $24,000 1979 Mercedes-Benz SL450 $34,000 Pontiac Firebird $40,000 Ford Escape Hybrid $50,000 Chevrolet Corvette $55,000 Lincoln Navigator $70,000 GMC Yukon $100,000 Lexus LC500 one of the most expensive vehicles he owns is a Cadillac Escalade, a car capable of offering a lot of comfort and safety for all passengers. And to get a sense of price, Magic Johnson's model is valued at around $105,000. The former player has also been seen with a Bentley Bentayga, a super luxurious SUV, capable of offering a lot of refinement and comfort for all passengers. And maybe that is why the latest models cost upwards of $180,000. Another car he owns is a Bentley Continental GT, a sophisticated car from the renowned luxury car brand Bentley. The interior of the vehicle has a first-class finish, and of course, is equipped with a very powerful engine. And it is no wonder that this car can cost upwards of $250,000.
To raise the price even higher, Magic Johnson has been clicked a few times driving his Rolls-Royce Phantom Drop Head Coupe, a stunning convertible car made for real tycoons. The interior of the car is superbly finished, which is to be expected when it comes to a car like this. And to enjoy all this luxury, depending on the year, it may be necessary to invest the princely sum of $550,000. And for having the most expensive car collection, Magic Johnson wins this round. Point for him. Aircraft. Both players have been seen in beautiful aircraft, but who has owned the most valuable means of transportation? Magic Johnson, for example, owns a Gulfstream 3 jet, a medium-sized business aircraft. The interior of the aircraft is very comfortable and can carry up to 19 passengers depending on the configuration chosen. And to enjoy this luxury, it may be necessary to spend around $3 million. Kobe Bryant, on the other hand, owned a Sikorsky S-76 helicopter, a medium-sized American aircraft capable of carrying up to 13 passengers. In some interviews, Kobe has even said that he decided to buy a private helicopter, not for luxury, but to save time to devote more to his family. And to get an idea of the price, a new helicopter of this model can cost up to $15 million. For owning such a valuable helicopter, Kobe Bryant wins this round. Exaggerated Luxuries Both stars had enough money to enjoy a lot of luxury, but which of them had the most exaggerated expenses? Starting with Magic Johnson. During his vacation in 2021, for example, he was spotted with his wife and famous friends on a vessel known as Aquila, one of the most expensive and stunning yachts in the world. The mega yacht is about 280 feet long, with more than enough space to house all the luxury and refinement one can imagine. To serve the crew members who go on board, there is a team of staff always available to provide an excellent experience for those who go on board. The interior of the ship is stunning, able to offer more comfort than a luxury hotel. In all, the yacht is equipped with seven suites that can accommodate up to 12 passengers in great comfort. As it was reported in the media, Magic Johnson and some famous friends decided to take a trip to Italy aboard this super yacht. Observing the posts of the former player on social networks, it is possible to see how comfortable and fun this trip seems to have been. The yacht that the celebrity stayed on is so grand that when it was launched in 2010, it was considered the largest yacht ever built in the United States. And to get an idea of the price, the vessel is valued at around $150 million, but Magic Johnson and his friends decided to rent it by paying over $1 million for just one week. Kobe Bryant, for his part, also used to charter beautiful boats to have fun on the high seas. Another of the star's luxuries was undoubtedly his collection of watches, mainly from the Hublet brand that sponsored him. Even the athlete had a watch inspired by him, the Hublet Big Bang Unico Kobe Vino Bryant, a sophisticated watch valued at more than $35,000. But nothing compares to the value of the personal items that once belonged to him. As reported in the press, the star's family has decided to auction off several personal items that he once owned. Among the items that stand out the most are for example, Adidas sneakers worn by him for $64,000, an autographed card for $400,000, and even his jersey worn in his rookie season for $2.73 million, a value so high that it was considered the second highest value for a jersey worn in a basketball game. Considering Kobe Bryant's expenses and valuable items, he wins this round. Real Estate Portfolio When it came to investing in real estate, both basketball legends spared no expense. But who had the biggest real estate portfolio? Kobe Bryant, for example, once owned a home in Irvine, California. The 2,400-square-foot property has a living room with predominantly clean colors, while the gourmet kitchen has marble countertops, integrating a coffee space. There is also an elegant dining room in the house, as well as a modern office, a well-equipped laundry room, three charming bathrooms, and three sophisticated bedrooms. In the case of the master suite, there is a private bathroom with double sinks, a spa tub, and an integrated walk-in closet. Outside, there is seating for relaxation near a fountain, a living space with a fireplace, a two-car garage, and a patio with a dining table, which includes a barbecue grill and a jacuzzi. Kobe had purchased the house for $1.3 million. 
After his tragic death in 2020, his wife, Vanessa Bryan, sold the place for $2 million, with the last owner deciding to do some renovations on the property, only to list it for $2.6 million. Kobe Bryant also owned a Mediterranean-style residence in Pinnacle Point, in the enclave of Newport Coast, California. Built in 1997, the home has over 8,400 square feet of interior space, and among the main rooms are a living room with a fireplace, a kitchen with a chef's island in the center, and a home theater with ceiling moldings. Heading outside, there is a luxury pool with a waterfall for leisurely days out, as well as a patio with seating and a fireplace. Kobe Bryant sold the property for just over $6.1 million but initially asked for $8.6 million. Another impressive property that the player had was a property on Lockman Lane in the exquisite Pacific Palisades area. Originally built in 1992, the property is over 11,000 square feet and is located on a gated lot that offers plenty of security for a living. Upon entering, you will notice that the mansion has antique architecture, which along with period furniture and custom wood paneling, brings a lot of sophistication to each of the rooms. The living room has beautiful glass doors and an enchanting crystal chandelier in the center, as well as a fireplace and a classical piano for music. The gourmet kitchen has a countertop for casual dining, plus top-of-the-line cabinets and stainless steel appliances. It also has two very formal offices with views outside, a reading or study area, a cozy family room that integrates a breakfast area, and 10 luxurious bathrooms. There are a total of six bedrooms in the residence, each with its own features to accommodate the residence in comfort. The master suite, for example, has glass doors leading to a balcony, a private sitting area, a stunning dressing table, and a large luxury bathroom with a relaxing tub and separate shower stall. The place also has a sports bar, a dry sauna, a home theater with state-of-the-art technology and custom seating, and a full residential gym for working out without leaving home. Outside, the property stretches across a landscape 29,000 square foot lot, which has a large tennis court, which can also be converted into a basketball court on a day-to-day -day basis. Plus there is an amazing courtyard and with a pool next to the flower garden, which has a separate jacuzzi. There is also a large terrace for entertaining and relaxing in front of views of the mountains and the distant ocean, as well as a barbecue area. According to some sources, before Kobe Bryant bought the property, he rented it in the late 1990s, then bought it for $2.5 million and later sold it. In 2014, the place was put up for sale again, this time for $12.8 million. Magic Johnson, for his part, has a Tuscan-style beach mansion in Dana Point, in the southern region of the state of California. The 7,700-square-foot residence offers many amenities, such as a cozy living room with two works of art on the wall and a work office with a wooden bookcase, as well as a balcony for enjoying the views and five luxury suites. According to some sources, Magic Johnson bought the property for $7.6 million. He also once owned a traditional modern-style mansion in the Bel Air neighborhood of Los Angeles, California. Built in 1981, the three-story mansion has more than 10,000 square feet of living space, featuring wide plank floors, rooms surrounded by French windows, and a host of other amenities to enjoy. The foyer features a grand staircase, while the living room has seating aligned to a table in the center, and the dining environment exudes sophistication. There is also a family room with a fireplace, and a kitchen with marble countertops, a chef's island, and modern appliances for preparing meals, as well as a coffee space, where doors open to the backyard. The mansion has a total of six bedrooms and six bathrooms built in different styles to suit the residents. The master suite, for example, features a sitting area with a fireplace and a private contemporary-style bathroom. The home also includes other amenities such as a wet bar, game room for entertaining, indoor basketball court, well-equipped gym, three-car garage, and laundry room with large tanks, not to mention that the last owner made several renovations to the residence to add other luxury finishes, state-of-the-art furniture, marble tiles in the bathrooms, custom cabinets in the kitchen, and other Spanish design elements. On the outside, the mansion is situated on a 0.55-acre lot in a more secluded area of the region, providing plenty of privacy for living. The plot has a beautiful lawn with wooded gardens, which not only create a pleasant atmosphere but are great for outdoor entertaining and recreation. There is also a large swimming pool with an integrated spa, as well as seating areas on a patio with a tiled floor, where a dining area is also located. 
It is safe to say that this residence offered a host of luxuries for Magic Johnson to live in with his family in all sophistication and comfort. And according to media reports, the former athlete lived there until the 1990s, and the house was last listed in 2022 for a reported $14.5 million. Another property Magic Johnson has owned is located in the coastal town of Napili, Hawaii, in an exclusive 10-house condominium called Papoyua Place, which has beautiful ocean views and a pleasant day-to-day -day climate for peaceful living. In addition to these properties, the basketball legend is also known to have lived in a small apartment in Green Valley Circle early in his career, and it is speculated that he owns another mansion in Beverly Park that was purchased with his wife. And for having the most valuable real estate portfolio, Magic Johnson wins this round. Business As well as being athletes, the two have also become great businessmen, but who has had the most profitable deals? Magic Johnson, for example, owns Magic Johnson Enterprises, a conglomerate that operates with the former player's investments, mainly in real estate ventures in the United States, such as Sodexo Magic. Another business Magic Johnson has owned is a franchise chain with more than 100 Starbucks coffee shops in the U.S., and he even served on the company's board of directors for a few years. The ex-player's investments don't stop there. He has already been involved with TGI Fridays, a chain of typical American restaurants. In the world of sports, Magic Johnson has partnerships with teams from many different sports, such as the Los Angeles Dodgers baseball team, the Los Angeles football club soccer team, the esports team Team Liquid. He also owned 5% of the Los Angeles Lakers, one of the biggest teams in the NBA, where he built his career. In the multimedia sector, he has owned the Magic Johnson Theaters and currently owns Aspire TV, a television network that provides African-American content. He also owns stakes in several other media companies, such as his radio station like WBLS. In addition to all these ventures, he also owns the financial services company Equitrust Financial Services and a private equity fund. Meanwhile, Kobe Bryant helped found in 2013 Bryant Stibble, a company that invests in dozens of companies around the world, such as UFC, Epic Games, McAfee, Team Viewer, Alibaba, among many others. To get an idea of the size of the business, in 2016 after retiring, Kobe announced that he would invest about $100 million in early-stage technology companies. Already one of the basketball star's most profitable investments was in Body Armor, an American sports drink in which he invested about $6 million, and within a few years, his stake was already worth hundreds of millions of dollars. Another company founded by Kobe was Granity Studios, a production company focused on sports stories. One of the company's most famous projects was the film Dear Basketball, which even won an Oscar for the best short film. And it was through the production company that he also released several books, such as The Mamba Mentality, How I Play. And because it's difficult to determine the turnover of the businesses, we'll consider this round a draw. Points for both. Net Worth As two basketball stars, there's no doubt that they've made a lot of money but which one has amassed the biggest fortune? Magic Johnson, for example, at the height of his career was considered the highest paid player in the NBA, earning $5 million per season. And although this is a huge amount of money, it is a small amount compared to the amount of money he earns today, because Magic Johnson earned much more money off the court than actually playing. To get an idea of his earnings, just by selling his 5% of the Los Angeles Lakers in 2010, it is speculated that he made about $50 million. As for his former Starbucks chain, Magic Johnson also made a huge amount of money in the last decade, as he sold it for about $75 million. And according to some sources, his investment company Magic Johnson Enterprise has estimated stakes of $1 billion, the same amount that his team Los Angeles Football Club currently owns, but because he is not the sole owner, his net worth is not all of this. And although no one knows the exact amount of Magic Johnson's fortune, some sources estimate that his net worth is currently around $620 million. Kobe Bryant, for his part, at the peak of his career, was considered one of the best-paid basketball players in the world, receiving more than $25 million per year in salary alone. Adding up all the money he received as one of the main stars of the Lakers, the figure exceeds $300 million. 
but despite making a lot of money as a player, most of his fortune came from off the court. This is because his image could also be considered a great source of income, since due to all his immense popularity, he starred in advertising campaigns for major brands in the world, such as Nike, Sprite, McDonald's, Turkish Airlines, Lenovo, Publix, Mercedes-Benz and Coca-Cola. To have an idea of values, his contract with Nike alone earned him about $10 million a year. And let's not forget that he had several sources of income and managed to make good investments that multiplied his money a lot. To have an idea, just his investment of $6 million in body armor for example, in just six years, multiplied to $400 million. And even after his death, Kobe Bryant continues to make a lot of money, being considered one of the most profitable deceased personalities in the world. According to Forbes magazine, it is estimated that in 2020 he generated $20 million for his family, money that came mainly from sales of Nike licensed clothing. And although no one knows exactly what the fortune left behind by Kobe Bryant is worth, some sources estimate that his net worth could exceed $1 billion. And because Kobe Bryant's estimated fortune is so high, he wins this round. At the end of this fight, we had 3 points for Magic Johnson against 5 points for Kobe Bryant, making him the winner of this battle. But if you think there are still other arguments to defend one of the two, write your best justification below. Hey, you like the video? So don't forget about leave your like and comment, and tell some suggestions of another videos, and hopefully we gonna do it. All about channel, deals to satisfy your curiosity.